الم یعلم ان الله يعلم سرهم ونجواهم نجواهم don't they know that Allah knows what is hidden in their hearts and chests and what they do when they are you know counseling privately najwa secret counseling secret meetings secret plannings wa Allah alamul ghayub and verily and certainly Allah knows all the unseen الذين يلمذون يلمذون المطوعين من المؤمنين في الصدقات والذين لا يجدون الا جهدهم فيسخرون منه سخر الله منهم ولهم عذاب اليم now another two pronged attack of these hypocrites hypocrites on the muslims those who defame those people from among the muslims who voluntarily give and contribute money because It's a very well-known fact of the history and seerah that before commencing the journey of Tabuk, the Prophet وسلم, asked for donations. A general appeal. It is going to be a very big expedition. 3,000 people are moving. 30,000. So all the you know, rations are required and all the things. And then, the, then arms are required. So contribute, contribute, whatsoever you can. And you know, Hazrat Abu Bakr contributed everything. left nothing at home nothing not even a needle everything he contributed hazrat umar he you know divided all his belongings into two parts and you know one part he contributed but you know one when muslims were bringing all these things now these these felt you know very sorry that they can they couldn't do it these munafiqin but they used to pass the marks oh, oh, oh yes 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 they want to show off they want you know to show off to the people that they are very philanthropist so that was one sided on the other side there were muslims who were very poor who couldn't help, could donate much there was one sahabi who worked for the whole night as a laborer for a jew he was you know getting out water from the well and irrigating his garden and in the morning he got some dates as the reward as the wage of the night labor divided into two parts half of it he gave it to the family and half he brought to muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam now on them they mocked oh yes without this this expedition could not be to be undertaken yes yes this is most important so they were attacking the muslims both ways those who were contributing generously they are showing off and those who brought such meager contribution oh without the, that actually it's very correct this expedition couldn't be undertaken without this but what was the the uh, action of muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam he said okay you spread all these dates over the whole of this heap in the balance of allah they carry more weight than all this heap because it is actually the intention that allah sees what are the intentions his way his weighing you know uh, is different from our weighing his weighing standard is different alladhina yalmizun yalmizun almutawwiin min almu'minin on the one side they defame them and slander them that they are showing off min fi sadaqat walladhina la yajiduna illa juhdahum as for those who have nothing except their hard earnings fa yasharuna minhu they mock at them and they cut jokes with them sakhir allah minhum actually allah is mocking at them the same words that we have in surah al baqara second section allah yastahzi'u bihim wa yamudduhum fi tuyanihim ya'mahun actually allah is mocking at them wa lahum azabun alim for them is a very painful torment now the harshest words the hardest verdict which is much more than the one which appeared in surah an-nisa what was it in surah an-nisa inna al-munafiqin fi darki al-asfal min an-nar these munafiqin the hypocrites will be in the lowest part of jahannam lower than the kuffar here allah is telling muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam istaghfir lahum aw la tastaghfir lahum ان تستغفر لهم 70 مره فلا يغفر الله لهم you ask for forgiveness for them or you don't ask forgiveness for them 
be it known to you o muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam that even you ask forgiveness for them 70 times allah is not going to forgive them zalika bi annahum kafaru billahi wa rasulih this is because they have disbelieved they have blasphemed although not legally legally they are still muslims only the veneer is there underneath that veneer whole wood had been eaten by the by the moth or the termite whatever it is zalika bi annahum kafaru billahi wa rasulih wallahu la yahdi alqaum alfasiqin and allah is not going to rightly guide these people who are transgressors who are rebellious 